In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can easily create a carousel right here in Pixel Lab. So without wasting much of our time, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you need to do is to pick the size you are going to you know use for your carousel um, design. So what you need to do is to go to click on the three dot that is at the top um, right here, click on image size and you can see the size I use for this. So initially um Instagram um, size is 1080 by 1080. So all you need to do is to times that by two, which is 2160, which is 1080. Um, by two which is two one six zero so i don't want to do this three times you can actually do this three times yeah but i prefer to you know because my if you do this three times your site this is the um, pixel up space will be small so i just prefer to do it twice then you know repeat the process as long as you want so the first thing here is this so select your background whatever you want just select that um your background so this thing that here i did was to you know import my image real quick which was this so i click on my grid line so you can see um, the grid line which is here, this one right in the middle will be constant in your even in your own pixel app, it will be constant there. But you should know that sometimes your image is not going to be you know aligned exactly to the middle. Mine is not actually centralized to the middle. So because you want some part of the image to show the same way you normally see those carousels in um on Instagram. So I kind of pushed mine all the way to the left because this grid line is like the is what is just imagine it as what you can see on Instagram where those um the image actually is listening to too. Because if you zoom in like this just like this just hold on real quick so yeah i think this is it okay not really perfect but yes something like this so this is it this is exactly how your front page will be in um in um on instagram because if i had to push it all the way to the middle then some part of this image will be cut so that grid line like i said zoom in see you can see this grid line just zoom in so you can see this um grid line this is what you are going to be using so once you've done that all you need is to now uh, you know design your carousel this is the front page right so all you need to do is to just design that so what i did here was to you know import my i'll just import my text real quick so of course everybody can do this everyone using pixel app can do this this are just um text so this is the text that i use for mine um so you don't actually need the font you just want to know how you can actually create um, a carousel right here in pixel app so let's just let's not waste time and jump into the next thing which right here let me just zoom out real quick let me just zoom out real quick. So this is it. This is the first side of the carousel you can see. And in order to align that as well, you can just use the grid line. Let me just zoom out real quick. Click on the grid line. Click on the plus as the down here. Once you click on plus, another one has added. So you can just move it all the way to this to this part to help you, you know, centralize centralize um the text. So that would actually help you. So once you've done that, you need to do this for the next part. You know, pick the text you want to write on the on the next part. So you can just zoom in like this again. See this grid line. This is. The, to the grid line that is at the middle, this is what is, you know, helping you to demarcate this page. So once you've done that, all you need to do is to import a text once again, or, you know, write your text, whatever it is. So I've already um, done mine already, so you just have to just do that. Let me zoom out. So let me just zoom out. So this is it. And again, once, you, once you're once um, you creating a character, you have to, you know, work with alignment, especially for the text. So like I said, the grid line here will help you. All you need to do is to do this, select the, um, if you want the horizontal, grid line you click on the second icon that is down here if you want the vertical one click on the um other icon that is at the top here the plus one so once you've done that you just move this you know this will really help in centralizing the text so this is what i did actually this is what i did so i have my text and you know everything there so what i need to do is to save this particular um okay i think okay that's not all i can actually design you know add any elements or whatever it is so i added a few I already feel like I said what just now I just designing normal design so this there is not add so don't try don't think you can actually create something like this I just added a few this one is actually this one depends on me so it depends on you as well and I also did this as well I just created um straight lines with different colors and you know fitting because I don't want my page to be too blank so I just did this and you know fix this here so this wipe is actually not here or oh, I don't need this for the first area so this is it so all you need to do is to save this as a picture so I've, I've actually saved mine so just click on the icon at the top here click on save as image select png select ultra and then save this um save this um image but i won't be saving mine because i already have it in my pixel app the next thing is if you want uh, another image to be you know on two slides next is to import that second image right so i'll just disable this first layer disable the text for the first one as well i'll just disable all text for that then import my next image and import my text so you can see like i said sometimes it actually doesn't work if it's um, centralized so all you need to do is to since the grid line is still there like i said focus on the grid line the grid line is still there to help your body um horizontal one for the text and the vertical vertical one for the image so you can see that this image is actually centralized but it's actually you know taking space and touching the text so all i need to do is to move the image all the way to 
the right so let me um zoom in a bit so like i said this grid line is okay yeah this is it this is it okay i think it's actually too much but it doesn't matter in order to do that click on the icon that is added down here to select multiple image um elements click on your image and click on the on the um three lines that are at the back that you want to move so once you've done that you click on this click on this icon down here click on this um this move tool then you know move this move this you can see they're actually moving you can see they're moving so you can see this you just move it here okay it depends on you just move that here okay so this is it i actually i don't think i added anything to the other side so this is it you have you know moved this um image so once you've done that you can now you know add in whatever you want to add just add in whatever you want to add the same way you see our carousels are being created because the main thing that we're focused on is this tutorial is how to actually split our images so once you've done that which is this all you need to do is to save this image once again so once you've saved this image right in pixel app the next thing we're going to do right here is to go back to the original size for our instagram carousel so i'll click on um okay let me just click on a new page which is um this i'll click on a new page which is this my background color is white my background color is white and then my um instagram size is one okay one zero eight zero by one zero eight zero so once you've done that let me just delete this text real quick so once i've done that i'll click on this third icon okay one two three four the fourth icon here i'll click on from gallery since my image is already saved as uh, as a picture then i'll click on the first image the first image which is this um female here click on the first one and then once i click on that you can see this is what it bring click on this um ratio here this first one one ratio one make sure you click on that so once you click on that you move this all the way here move this all the way to the left so once you click on this so you can see this now you can see that this is the same way you see carousels on instagram this is the first part of the of the um carousel so all you need to do is to click on this click on the top icon here click, click on save as image select png and select ultra but since I've already saved your image, since I've already saved my image, I don't need to save it again. So once you save, um, once you save that image, all you need to now do is to click on crop, click on crop. So this actually crop the first part of the image. Move this all the way to the second part and click on this. So you can see if you are already imagining this, you see that the carousel is being created already. So you now you have to save this second um um carousel part again. So once you save this, you go to the next image, which is the for the guys on. Let's just go on, go to from gallery once again. Select the guy's image, which is this rectangular one. Move this one ratio one. Remember one ratio one. Okay, so it's already selected. Move this all the way to the right, to the left rather. Move this all the way to the left. So click on check mark so you can see this part of the um carousel as shown. All you need to do is to save this again. Save this as an image. So once you've done that, click on crop. Move this all the way to the right. So you can see this part of the um is face. Now you can save this part as well. So once you've done this, just quickly let me show you guys. Like I said, since your carousels are actually in two parts, the part where your image are split and the part where your single text are made. So all you need to do is to like I said, the carousel um has to be aligned. All you need to do is to select grid lines and then place it to the same way to the text that you have here already. So so this is what will help you in creating your um single pictures the ones that we're not going to create that in this tutorial because i don't know what you guys will actually want to do for your own carousel so this let me just delete um the additional lines here which i don't actually need so you need to okay so all you need to do now is to you know create your single pictures by using this grid line like i said it has to be aligned unless the carousel will be looking awkward and of course the same background the white background as well so once you've done um once you've done that we so you should know by now you have four for images already so let me just show you that real quick right in my gallery so once you've created that you would get four images which you already know already so this is the first part of the image which we you know um worked on in pixel lab this is the second part just like that and like that so the next thing you need to do now is to import your image in um uh, sorry to upload your image to instagram so as you can see on screen this is i've already uploaded this image right to instagram and you can see that is actually the carousel format is working so all you need to do is to just follow the same process we did in this tutorial select your image from your gallery upload them to instagram and select your single images as well so with that being said i hope you found this helpful if you did like share and subscribe turn on your post notification bell for more and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial but before you go i actually created my second youtube channel where i actually you know upload two movie recaps so in case it's something that is actually in your area of interest do it to check it out you can see my channel on the screen and i hope you found value from this tutorial if you did like share and subscribe once again and turn on your post notification bell for more